waterfall cave was right around here. That means the lake should be somewhere north of here. Be wary, though. When we go, the Empire seems to follow. All right. Well. Why are there Wait. alarms? What happened to under Imperial lockdown? They all but turned the key and left the gates open for us, as if awaiting our arrival. And if anyone's waiting for us, I bet it's that guy. Chancellor Izunia. Can't complain, as long as he lets us in. Who's to say he'll let us out? Not to mention we're a man down. Would that the Marshal were with us. Oh yeah. Whatever happened to that guy? As I understand it, he's put his tomb raiding on hold to help the hunters take care of some troublesome beasts. No rest for the immortal. Okay. Wait, I'm driving now? What? What the hell? What? Oh. There's... There's big Magitech knights down here. We must be doubly cautious. Right, no Gladio, no room for error. Oh, they're just Ronins. Okay. That's confusing. I don't understand these guys. They're, it's weird. Yeah, they're like, they're humanoid, but they've got weird, like, screwed up faces. Yeah, what the hell is up with them? All right. And on we go. I guess. Right. I guess we'll go back to the regalia for this. I don't want to have to run for a mile. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. Please tell me I can drive the regalia. Time to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. I would like to drive on the right side of the road, preferably. There we go. I don't know if there's oncoming traffic here, but I'd prefer to avoid it. Apparently you can damage the regalia, maybe? I've, I've never seen any evidence for it one way or another, so it's always been kind of this confusing nebulous thing. But, eh. If, it, if this works, this works. It'd be great if you could actually, um... You know, Gladio leaves. And, uh, you just get the Chocobo as the party member. I just want a Chocobo party member, damn it! I don't know. No way through. Where, what, who, how, enemy? <sighs> it's like we had a combat. I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. We had a combat marker. Ah, missiles, missiles. Huh? Missiles from the top of the mecha. And the mecha is dead. Because good old one shot Noctis. Well. Do you still have our food buff? I have no idea if I still have my food buff running. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, yeah, it goes it goes away every time we uh chapter ends. Alright, well that's fine. Uh, let's continue on. I'm sure I could auto this, but it's not like it really makes much of a difference between auto and not. Uh, what's the... what's the button for...? Camera? No, it's not that. Ah, okay, it's, it's L1 to switch the camera around. I don't like how close the camera can get to the... can get to the car. I really dig the Chocobo sticker in, the, sticker in the back. You know, I'd actually really like it. I, I should see if, um... I'd actually like to see it if they sold stuff like that. I wouldn't put a, uh, a Chocobo sticker on my car, necessarily. But I would probably put a Chocobo sticker on my, uh... On, like, a laptop or a desktop or something like that. It's weird, there was a combat marker, but there's no enemies. Probably directly below us. If I had a... If I had a guess. Dig the visuals for this area. First person view. I do wish. What do you say we take a souvenir shot? Yeah, 
Go for it. Woohoo! Um. Oh. Okay. I guess I'm not in control for this anymore. All right. I think we get AP for these. I'm just not quite used to the idea. I am just confused. And that's okay. It's good music though. I've always I've always loved Final Fantasy music. The problem is this I okay, this music is is a little bit better. Okay, I wonder if the uh, Final Fantasy 15 soundtrack that I got includes all of these songs or not. Because I know I got the soundtrack as part of pre-ordering the, the entire game plus season pass, I think. Because uh, I'd actually love to offload this from my PS4 onto, like, my phone or something and listen to it. Because normally Final Fantasy music I'm not too interested in listening just because it's a lot of, like, uh, bleep bloop battle music or whatever. But the actual, like, ambient stuff. Or ambient stuff? Ambiance, whatever. That I'm super down for. Where do we go from here. Okay. Yeah, so I'll probably just hoof it, uh, or, or, I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna choke a bow. It pr probably past this point. Probably for both this and the, uh, the main quest. I should also test Let's out. Go. Uh, summoning enemies at some point, just so I don't do it in a really bad spot and screw myself over. Unlikely, usually I can just Phoenix down and run away, but Phoenix downs are expensive. Also really need to find a mountain. Do I actually have to get out? Yeah, I gotta get out. Thanks for the ride. There we go. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Uh, let me get this shot. Oh, love the lighting. Yeah, I guess we do get EXP for it. And our chocobos are gone. Huh. Alright, there we go. Uh, I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna do the rest by Chocobo. It's not quite... What it, What level is my Chocobo? Level 6? Level 7? Level 8? But yeah, I wouldn't mind maxing out my Chocobo at some point. Part of the reason why I've been a little bit hesitant about doing any of the races is because I know uh, if, I, if I actually get this sucker to max level, I bet the races would be kind of comically trivial would make my life easier See you, slow poke. probably not though all right where's the where's the what oh let's do this okay. I would I can I knock it off all right there we are okay because, yeah, I want to fight these things, but I guess apparently I can't, unless I'm on dry land. Which is a bit of a surprise, honestly. At least these guys are like... Oh, interesting, they're not the, uh, sea... ...things, whatever, that we ran into earlier. Okay. It's a Hajin. That is actually, uh, some kind of mythological creature, for one to remember. Because I know there's a and d, d creature with a very similar name, though it's more of kind of a uh, anthropomorphic fishman monster thing. Kind of looks like an anglerfish-ish. Either that or a sea lion. I'm not not a not a sea lion. A sea leopard. Whatever the uh, poisonous, freaky-looking fish is. It's probably just more of these guys. Still can't dis dismount here. I guess I'll fight him. Hitting my chocobo! Stop hitting my chocobo! Cheeps, you can fight back, you know. Like, very easily. These guys are not that tough. Oh. I think, uh... 
I think Ignis has a poison effect on his weapon. Also, these enemies do not seem particularly interested in fighting me. But yeah, I'm fighting. I'm fighting a lot more than usual. Uh, evening already. Time flies when you're having fun. I'm fighting a little bit more. Ow. More than I normally would. I guess usually I'm pretty aggressive about fighting everything. Um. Mainly because uh, we need the money. And honestly, the experience is good. What level are we? 38? Not bad, actually. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> we were right here. Never mind. Oh, goody. This guy. Well. Hi. Gentlemen, what a pleasant surprise. Ugh, told you he'd be waiting. With my Imperial friends, no less. Splendid. But fear not. I'll put in a good word. Well, come along then. Don't stray too far, lest you get left behind. And surely, you'd rather avoid unnecessary scuffles. Seeing as you're now a trio. All right. I don't like this guy. Oh dear. Touchy subject. One we won't discuss with you. Then let's discuss why you're here. Hmm, it can't be archaeology. Mithril, perhaps? This guy's reading our thoughts. Mithril. It's a precious resource, you see. We can't just let anyone get their hands on it. But you'll help us get ours on it, right? <sighs> I never said. Fear not. I'll be but a moment. A moment doing what? Beats me. Hmm. All clear. Go ahead. Alas, the ever wary military. They'll not abide visitors left unattended. I must prevail upon you to accept an escort. I've seen to everything. So now she joins her party. Good stuff. Also, that is a very Nazi outfit. So, you're the new recruits they sent over for special training. Nice cover, runaway prince. Thanks! Oh, come on! <sighs> At ease, recruits. There's nothing in it for this ex-mercenary to turn you in. Let's get this show on the road. Show? Forgot about your training? Well, I'm being paid to escort you. Just watch yourselves in there. Okay. I trust you'll be civil. Commodore RNA a high wind. I leave them to you. Me? <laughs> Search until sundown. Won't do you any good. If you're looking to get inside, you're gonna have to wait. You can buy weapons from this guy, apparently. Alright, first... Ah, no, we actually do have some money. Uh, Ice Brand, not useful. Hard Edge. He already has it. Already has it. Already has it. Uh, It's better than what he's got. Thunder Shield and Flame Shield. I think I'm just going to pick up the flame shield for the time being, and we're not going to bother with anything else. So, 150 HP. Hmm. Eh. This will be good enough. Alright, so she's in our party now. This is really bizarre. What kind of place was this? Any idea, Ignis? Numb. Gee, I wonder what happened to the locals. Why not head inside and look for them? It's open. As good as an invite. Let's do it. <sighs> Aren't we eager? Those guys your friends or something? You appeared to be on. Ah, oh, man. How far does this go? Yet a ways still. Okay, I really wanted to actually know her response to that. I really hate the fact that dialogue... Oh, finally! I thought it never end. The 
people here. They must have been fit. The dialogue will overlay on itself, uh -huh. especially just bitching. Uh, who left the lights on? Maybe the owners are still home. No. I doubt we can expect a warm welcome. Indeed. Stay sharp. You think it's an ambush? Perhaps. Nothing of note here. Just a load of nothing. Yeah, the problem is the characters will like ask an important question and I'll want to hear it, and then they'll then prompto or somebody else will just start bitching about something. So I think I actually have to like walk slowly the moment they start talking about something. I'm not happy about. There's an item in here. Son of a bitch, there's an item in here that I wanted. Alright, whatever. Maybe this way? Hey, chrome bit. If I remember right, that's expensive stuff. Out of my way, weird lady with the weird, weird outfit. She's wearing this place has seen better days. So basically you could fall on our heads without one. <laughs> They cannot deal with that rock pile. Not too shabby. Shall we? Yeah. Oh, she does have a uh Say your prayers. She does have a triple AP gauge move. That she has she has access to. Also, there's a big one that is just swinging around constantly. Kind of hurts. I wonder if these, uh... I wonder if these skeletons, uh... Drop anything. Reaper. Okay. Yeah, it says break, but I don't know what I'm breaking. You ready, Arnea? Let's do it. Interesting that they have dialogue for, uh, Link Strike moves. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Alright, there he goes. Curious, the Reaper was not moving properly. At all, really. Beautiful beyond words. Look up! Wait, what? Does this mean we're underwater? Whoa! There's even fish. The hell is this place? Huh. Can we truly be submerged? Uh, it does seem harder to breathe. Like seeing a dream. Gladio is seriously missing out. Probably not his thing. No, no, you can never tell. Wah! They said there's even fish, but... I don't see the fish. Alright. Now I could... Well, that was fast. I could just equip a spell. But it has not seemed particularly necessary this entire time. Oh. It's still alive. Well, I want to hit one of these guys, but there's something about the lighting. That's just making it so I can't... I can't target anything. Alright. Whatever. Just close enough. Ow. Mind if I finish this one off? No. I'm loath to make a lady bloody her own hands. Little late for that. Well, this is weird. Yeah, for whatever reason, I was unable to lock onto anything. Good. How about you? Just chipper. Did you see this? What's up? All right. There's nothing. Huh. Something bothers me about this spot. What is it? Have we been this way? Something overlooked? Not a hundred percent sure. Oh, they're just telling me to go this way because this is how to progress. Gotcha. Can I just... It'll hold you. Famous last words. Okay, you know, one thing I'm gonna do though, uh, let's go into the options. Audio. I'm gonna turn down the uh, the audio player music down to about 30. This way we can play the music no matter what. 
There we go, that'll help. Demons, till death do us part. Practicing your vows. <laughs> the army swore their oaths a long time ago. So what do you think's at the bottom of this? I'm what does the Empire hmm. seek here? Specimens. And we're stuck harvesting them. Specimens? Demons. So what's all this about the army and demons? <laughs> what do you think it is? Nice. I love gassing games. Oh, hi. Oh, more skeletons. Unfortunately, I don't think these suckers give me very good experience, so I'm just kind of disappointed 90% of the time. I do want to use her, um... I do want to use her special attack before we're done. Uh, unfortunately, if I remember checking, yeah, High Wind requires three bars. It's a little bit less than viable, given the situation. These, com these combats, or these battles, really don't last very long. Okay, rusted bit. Not very useful. That's fine. the Empire makes weapons out of them. Weapons? Yeah, I'm sure you've seen your share by now. Something not quite right with the Empire lately. It's not just lately. True. Maybe it's time I left. Really? Hmm. I mean, to be what fair... Do you do if you left the army? Whatever I want. I was a mercenary once. Maybe I'll round up my men and hunt demons for cash? Well, that's, uh, a heck of a plan. I wonder if, Say your oh. prayers. Yep. And we got a whole mess of dudes. Okay. Didn't mean to counterattack him. But I things are happening. I do really dig the fact that this game uh features uh proximity damage, you know. Like, if you, if you hit one enemy, uh, it'll hit the enemies nearby if they're within your striking range. There aren't a whole lot of games that do that. Uh, or there's not a whole lot of RPGs that do that well. And I, it seems like uh, at least Square Enix is committing to it a little bit more. Now that, I don't know, I guess, now that the technology's there, question mark? Now that it's easier to do? Um, but it's one of those where I've always... Oh, what about the Empire strikes you as not quite right? The Emperor and new High Commander, for starters. Then there's that charmer of a Chancellor. I really can't stand that guy. Huh. Oh, I see. We're going down there. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I just like it. Anyway. I am digging this dungeon a little bit more. It's a little bit more Is my speed. Safe? Not everything's gonna... Can I? Nice job, Ignis. How do I get up there? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can warp. Shit. Hey. All right. Looks like uh, nice I might I might have to warp back up anyway. There's got to be a way back up there. And if there's not. I don't really care. I guess let's just warp strike this guy a bunch. Cause I got a, I got a bunch of mana, and we might as well exploit it. Is it cause we ate food, or is it just because I'm a higher level? I actually don't know, given the situation. Oh, that's fine. Is it just reapers? It's just this reaper. Oh, that's okay. Or I guess there was that one other skeleton in the back. Not that it really lasted very long. And that's that. Let's keep moving. Take some wild go down. Okay, so got at least something around this corner. Yep. Mega Phoenix. I've yet to actually need to use any of those, but eh. I mean it could. Okay. Uh so if we look this direction, there's nothing. So I guess this is the path to go anyway. You smell that? Smell what? Treasure. The nose nose, dude. <laughs> now that you mention it, 
Let's not forget our purpose here. I will admit, I haven't really felt like treasure hunting in this game. Like, usually you find, like, cool weapons and armor and stuff in dungeons. You know, I need now. stuff that you can't get anywhere else. This game, it seems like uh, buying stuff is usually the way to go. Oh, this is a bit of a mess. All right, let's pull back for a second and go for the skeletons. Or try. And then fail miserably. Ow. We're fine. Just gotta remember, I don't heal in... I don't heal in dungeons. I guess we got elix elixirs for that, and I think I can buy them. Maybe? Not the kind of thing I really want to go out of my way for. Good. How about you? Just chipper. Okay, nothing there. And okay, good. We can go up here. Is it gonna trap us again? Well, I guess it's already done. Yeah, there was an item over there, but I don't know how to get to it. Maybe if you walked really slowly, you could have bypassed that whole section. Or not. I didn't even get close to touching that. Uh, I guess let's start. Saw that coming. No, what? No, what? Here comes the big one. Right on cue. And it's got friends. Well, I guess I'll go for the friends first. Seeing as they're the easiest to take out here. There we go. Okay, got any more friends? It doesn't. Oh, it's just an iron giant. Hardly a worry. Alright, there we go. I guess this would have been a good opportunity for high wind. We'll use it before we're done. Or not, actually. This might be the end of it. That's an interesting question. There is a very real possibility that this was the boss. Huh. Huh. Alrighty then. So I guess he was the guy messing up all the platforms, but... He could be the boss? It doesn't feel like it. Why are we... Is it because I ran out of running endurance? Mida? It's possible. Alright. Well, I mean, if I messed up and I don't get her ability, or don't get to see what her ability looks like, that's probably okay. I get kind of the very distinct feeling that it's either that jump move that we saw earlier. Wait, we just got a mi mithril shaft. Why don't we just use that? I guess that would make it too easy. Oh, never too many stairs. I got a bad feeling about this. Stairs right. they go on, forever they go on, on and on and on. He's gone. Take this. Well. I. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I should do. To try and get my uh, meter to go up. Because I don't think I can. I don't think I can just trigger it. I mean, it's also one of those where it's not going to be this like big flashy move for the most part. Not too shabby. All right, whatever. I'm betting there's one more boss in here, maybe, and we just had the mid boss, or it could be very much wrong and we're actually almost done. Oh, right. Uh, we wanted to go this direction. Did we? We did. I'm gonna go back, uh, the way we came, though. And we're gonna go grab the item on the other side. That we couldn't get our hands on earlier. Yep, there it comes back. Heliodor bracelet. Wasn't this the one that, uh, widely increases strength? I forget, but yeah. <laughs> Probably getting those extra accessory slots would 
actually be a good good move. Oh, whoops. Messed up. Oh, so where's Ignis? Looks like we lost him. Well, rest in peace. Get the feeling they're just getting stuck like that. They'll probably show up once we hit the next uh, combat situation. Oh yeah, there's Ignis. Hi. Okay. Time to boogie. Right. Well, here we are. One shot. Hey. Well. I guess it kind of makes sense that we beat. Let's see. Kind of makes sense that we'd be tired after sprinting into battle. Ooh. There we go. Little bit worried about, uh... Oh, shit. There's two Reapers. All right. Assuming she doesn't go down here, we'll be able to... We'll be able to trigger the high wind, probably. Ow. I was rolling away. And it did nothing. Okay, I'm just gonna hang out in the back. My teammates do way less damage than I do. So if we just let them do their thing, we should be able to high wind relatively soon. There we go. Let's do it. Alright. Does about exactly what you think it would do. How about you? Just chipper. I really wish they wouldn't repeat those. Temper. Shut up, Ignis. A place to cross, huh? <sighs> We've come to the bridge. Let's go. Right. Well then, maybe we shouldn't. Hey! See ya! I just wanted to look up, damn it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Okay. Yeah, so the team's getting a little bit smacked around here. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I want to get my hands on, uh... Are we doing things? We did something. I don't know what we did. But that's okay. Yeah, we've we've taken some extra hits here. I think we'll be fine even if we do run across the boss. But we are definitely going to be rather low HP by the time we hit, hit the end of this. It's actually kind of interesting that Iron Giant... How many other, like, straight-up bosses have I run into? Like, there was the Naga. There was the Naga. There is the... There's the Spider Lady. It's weird. I've always associated Final Fantasy with particularly, um... Uh, cinematic bosses. And except for, like... Wow, that's a lot of EXP that I've stacked up here. It's actually kind of nice. Okay, um, except for like, I guess some of the, that initial mecha fight, it actually really has not felt like, um, you know, standard Final Fantasy cinematic bosses. Well, okay, no, I'll, I, I rescind that. There was Titan. He was cinematic as shit. But kind of different because you really weren't fighting him. He was more of a QTE battle. Anything on this? Nope. Oh, ain't nothing. It's a crossroads. Whichever way leads to the treasure. If only we knew that. Well, guess we bumble on. Keep the bumbling to a minimum. I actually have no idea if this music is for the area or the Dissidia soundtrack. I think it's uh I think it's for the area. I hope it is, because like it's actually probably one of the best songs I've heard all game. Let's do this. Right. Hi. Let's see. I'm gonna have to sit down and probably do some leveling at some point. Just because these are starting to get a little bit on the rough side. Not that it matters too much. But it is one of those where, uh... I don't know, I, I'd like to be able to just kind of blast my way through the rest of the game. Kind of with no, little effort. Okay. I, I This game doesn't have the game mechanics that in, inspire me to challenge myself too hard. Where would you guys be without me? Not too shabby. 
I'm trying to think of uh, games that like really made me want to challenge myself. I okay, it's not exactly the same, but um, I really dig. Like I really, really loved World of Final Fantasies, like a monster collection and ability system. That one was one that I didn't like go way out of my way to overgrind. And I still got my ass kicked. Uh, not a fan of mushy desserts. But, oh, it's another Reaper. Okay. Might as well counterattack him. Well, here we are. Out of the way. Ow. We're getting smacked. Ignis, don't be late. Immaculate. Okay. I don't think the Reaper's even close to dead, which is actually good. Hey, watch it. Ignis. All right, there we go. I don't know. I don't know about the whole like max HP reduction thing in this game. I really. Let's keep moving. I guess um. I guess tyranny kind of has the same thing, like a wound system. I prefer this game's version just because it's a little bit smoother. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yep. We have. We have new ones. I guess the main reason why I'd overgrind is so we we won't even we wouldn't even have to think about uh It's time. Let's see. Oh, but the height I was locked on somebody, but I guess never mind. Okay, yeah, so we wouldn't have to worry about running out of maximum HP over the course of these. I guess that's what elixirs are for, but still. Okay. Got that one. Let's see. Is there not? There we are. These are cool looking enemies though. This actually, yeah, this this really makes me excited for uh, Final Fantasy VII. I've said this like a couple of times, but like, Final Fantasy VII has a lot more of that like magic technology that I talk about really liking. And so I can only assume that Seven's going to be pretty intense and visually impressive. I wonder if they're going to copy the uh, Final Fantasy XV combat style, or if they're going to be do doing something different. You know, I don't know. It'd actually be kind of cool to find out. Also, this is a much longer dungeon than I was expecting. I was expecting something short. Looks like we've got very little left, though. Probably just the actual boss here. I should see if I can learn, like, a, a proper healing spell that doesn't just destroy my, my team. Oh, spacious. There's so gonna be a big nasty here. Well, if I go down, I guess I can throw a, uh, hi, what's this? Now this is a boss. The odds are against us. <laughs> Ow. I just want to find some part of it to hit. Okay. HP not doing so good. Also, ow. Um. Wow, ow. Okay. Uh. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. We could throw a mega elixir. Sell. Uh. Myself. Let's just throw. Let's just do a regular elixir. Kind of you. Well, there goes Prompto. I guess this is what the mega phoenix is for. Yeesh. Wow. Damn. I, how do you... How do you fight this thing? I guess you use Overwhelm. Okay, Phoenix down, Prompto. I need to buy some more of these. Did we... Did we not Phoenix down, Prompto? Oh, we did. 
Okay. There we go. I think we're hitting it. You were hitting it. It's not dying fast, though. Okay. So glad I'm an immor- well, not immortal, but... I'm kind of just a kill monster. Alright, looks like we've downed it for the time being. It looks like a good time for another Overwhelm. Especially because he's about to do whatever this move is. Okay. Check out over here. Hell yeah! Impeccable. You know, I think I know what my problem is with this game and the combat and whatever. All the enemies do like crazy amounts of damage. <laughs> We're alive. Let's celebrate by eating something dead. Not too shabby. Man, they really need to record more lines for this. But yeah, enemies do a ton of damage. I do a ton of damage. Everybody does a ton of damage. And combat's over really fast, which I really dig, but it does kind of mean you spend a lot less time <sighs> caring. Concludes our business here. Say, Commodore. Aranea. You said the Empire uses demons to make weapons? Listen, you've seen Magitek troopers, right? MTs. They're born from demons in a lab. Born from demons? Darkness is coming. If I were you, I'd watch my princely ass. A kingly ass. Will do. Uh, yeah, there's nothing left here for me. Photography. Prompto's area of expertise. It takes memorable shots of famous sites. Yep, gotcha. I don't know, I just read it automatically and I figure I might as well read it out loud. Even if it's something we've seen before, which I guess is kind of unfortunate. Huh. HP actually, max HP comes back pretty fast out. Ah, fresh air. Congrats. Out of that combat. your training. You've still got a hard path ahead. But don't let anyone tell you how to walk it. <laughs> You may have been hired under false pretenses, but your assistance was invaluable all the same. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. You can spare the pleasantries. Take care walking your path, Aranea. Oh, right. Thanks. I, I will. And I'll train you some more if our paths cross again. Oh, and before I forget, His Excellency instructed me to give you boys a ride back. If you need a lift, feel free to hop on. Well, glad that's over with. Noct, I have just received word from Cindy. And? We're to return to Lestalum. Her friend works as an engineer at the power plant. She'll take care of the mithril. Uh-huh. And that'll take care of our boat problem. Once you're rested and ready, I suggest we hasten back to Lestalum. Make sure you're prepared. Should uh. say goodbye to such a nice fishing spot. Want to see what's biting before we bolt? Nope. And I guess we're riding on the Magitek carrier. You're headed to Lestalem, right? I'll take you there, but no further. Got it. So, ready to ship out? You bet. Let's fly. Hold on tight, boys. Look at that! A red ship. I was kind of hoping she'd have some kind of special ship that's not just red. Well. Probably should have gone back for a hotel. I was kind of sitting on quite a lot of EXP. But then again, going back and forth would have been annoying. All right, do we have any good photos from any of this? I guess there's that one. I'm glad she's not a villain, sort of. I don't know, ooh, that is a good one. Is that a beauty mark or is that my TV? Yeah, that's my TV. <laughs> she's got a, uh, on my screen, she's got a mark on her chin and it's mainly, I need to clean my TV. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 8, Seaworthy, with the help of Imperial Commodore Arena Highwin. Uh, Arena Highwin. 
The makeshift miners hit pay dirt, only to learn raw ore won't suffice. Cindy refers them to Holly, an engineer in Lestalem, who knows how to treat mithril. 